I would like to welcome the ICT one class in this topic. So we shall be having the part two of our discussion on the basic concepts of computers. So at this point, we shall be uh, discussing the basic computer operations. Uh, also, we shall be uh, containing the computer virus and antiviruses, and then uh, the, the keyboarding, and then the, the parts of the keyboard. No? So those are the things that we shall be uh, learning in this uh, uh, moment no? of our uh, video. So let me share to you the presentation, which will help me again uh, share the, the content of this uh, topic. Okay. Okay, I have to go back to the. So we have the basic concepts of a computer or basic computer concepts part two. Okay, so we have the basic computer operations. Uh, in our previous lesson, I had already mentioned that the, the, the computer has four uh, parts or classifications. We have the input, the output, the storage, and the uh, processing or the processor. So again, I will mention again those things because they are the basic operations of computer. So first is we have this what we call input. Okay, so the computer is capable of uh, performing input operation because uh, using the mouse and the keyboard, uh, the, the things that we enter to the computer are being uh, received or being processed no, by the computer in order for it to produce a meaningful uh, output or information. So again, when we say input, that's information and programs are entered into the computer through input devices such as the keyboard, disks or through other computer via network connections or modem connected to the internet. So the input device also retrieves information of disks. Okay, so pwede rin na kapag uh, if you want to retrieve the stored uh, data, you are always using no, the, the input device. Okay, so uh, we have to make use of the mouse for us to open a certain uh, uh, drive plus drive or to open a file. That's why it is said that the input device also retrieves information of disks. Another operation of a computer is the what we call output. So for, for the computer to perform the output operation, it needs uh, output devices where the uh, data or the content are being displayed. No, the output devices could be uh, the printer, the monitor, the speakers. So uh, also the projector or the headset no, where you can... Uh, uh, hear the audio output like the the, the voice no the sound so headset or uh, audio device uh, allows you to uh, hear the the audio data coming from the computer so they also display messages about what errors may have occurred and brings up message or dialog box box asking for more information to the input the output device also saves information on this for future use Another is processing. So processing is another basic operation of a computer. So everything that we uh, enter to the computer are uh, being uh, processed. No? So the processing part or the what we call CPU or sensor processing unit is sometimes called the control unit. And it corrects the operation of the input and output devices. So siya yung uh, uh, kumbaga nag-direct as to uh, what to do with the, the data you have inputted through the output the input devices okay and then will be outputted no or displayed or print no? through the uh, output devices so the coprocessor of the arithmetic logic unit does arithmetic and comparisons so meron kasing part ng uh, uh, processing unit no which we call arithmetic logic and we also have this what we call a uh, uh, comparisons or this what we call uh, uh, was this control unit no merong arithmetic logic tapos may control unit something like that so another is the memory or ram no? i had uh, discussed this in the, the the previous video no 
when we say memory or RAM, or the memory or RAM temporarily stores information such as files and programs while you are using or working on them. So once you open a file or once you create or create a file, like for example, you are typing at the uh, document using the Microsoft Word. So while you are still typing, it's the uh, RAM no? or it's the, read, so the random access memory that does the task, no? saving your uh, data while it's not yet uh, being saved. No? na kapag nag-brown out, tapos hindi na-save yung ginagawa mong uh, uh, file or document, so mawawala na yan siya sa memory ng computer. So kapag bumalik na yung uh, uh, kuryente, in-open mo yung computer, hindi na-save yung file, okay? So yan yung tinatawag nating RAM because it just stores temporarily the, the data that you are having in your computer or that you're working on your computer. Okay, so that's about RAM. Another, the BIOS or basic input output system controls the dialogue between the various devices. So that's about the basic operations of computer. So we have now the what we call computer viruses and antiviruses, just to give you some sort of idea about uh, uh, what do we mean by viruses and how we are to uh, uh, solve them. Okay, so we also have to try to learn some sort of antiviruses uh, uh, what's this programs no? so what is a computer virus you might be wondering no kasi ama batian mo lang na ay na virus na ako ng pc na virus na ako ng phone some like that so what do we do we really mean by computer virus or virus so it is designed to replicate relentlessly computer viruses infect your programs and files alter the way your computer operates, operates or stop it from working together altogether. So, minsan, you will just wonder why is it that your computer malfunctions? Why is it your files are deleted without you doing it? Why is it that the, the program so, runs so slow? Something like that. So, we didn't know that it's already the virus that attacks the system of our computer. So, those are the, what we call... Uh, What's this? The characteristics, no, of virus, or those are the symptoms or the signs. Where in your, uh, you can say that the computer, uh, your computer had been, no, uh, had had been invaded by virus, or viruses. So again, we have uh, some computer viruses are programmed to harm your computer by damaging programs, deleting files, or reformatting the hard drive so although you're not doing this but it it will just automatically be done because uh, there is this particular virus that does it no so yung effect niya is dinadamage yung program nagmamalfunction nawawala yung file napapalitan yung, yung file name ng file umiiba yung format ng file or yung type ng file something like that okay so those are some uh some sort of uh, some results no, of the virus or yan yung ginagawa ni virus sa ating uh, system. So others simply replicate themselves or flood a network with traffic making it impossible to perform any internet activity. So I don't know if you had experienced that na minsan parang ano ba problema kung baga parang uh, si uh, internet pa yung sinisisi mo is it that you cannot work in the internet bakit parang uh, loading na loading lang palaging nag-appear or nangyayari sa aking uh, uh, device or sa aking laptop or sa aking computer. So we didn't know that there's already virus no, that, that that's what is, uh, doing such uh, tasks or such uh, activities in your system. Another is that even less harmful computer viruses can significantly disrupt your system's performance, sapping computer memory and causing frequent computer crashes. So, minsan nagka-crash, nag-error yung ating program if you're a programmer. Sometimes hindi na siya nag-function the way it should be. Sometimes di mo na ma-access yung system, nag-error. So, those are uh, some uh, results or some effect of uh, uh, virus invasion to our system. Okay? It, it uh, disrupt. It, uh, kumbaga, uh, what's this? Talagang nag- imperfection siya sa ating activity in our computer. 
So again, what are the symptoms of a computer virus? Paano malalaman na may computer virus na pala yung iyong device? I mean, mayroon na palang virus sa iyong system sa computer no? or sa, sa phone. Okay, so we have here the, the symptoms. Okay, kala nyo kayo lang yung COVID lang yung may symptoms. So that's also true with the, the computer. So will you know no? that there is already virus residing in your system. So we have here a slow computer performance. Ang bagal-bagal. Pag on mo pala ng computer nyo, it takes you how many minutes okay, for you to load it. So parang kapag inaabot pa ng oras, talagang iba-iba na talaga, kakaiba. Ibang, ibang usapan na yun kapag uh, hours na talaga yung hinihintay just to wait no? so your computer will turn on. Another is erratic computer behavior. So nagmamalfunction siya. No? Gusto mong i-print, di siya napiprint. May nagpa-pop up ng mga dialog boxes na hindi mo naman kiniklik. Wala ka namang pinipoform na kung anong command. Okay, so hindi ka na talaga makagawa-gawa ng iyong task because iba-iba yung kanyang uh, display no? Well, uh, when you click Okay, may mga interruptions na nang nangyayari sa pinagtat. Erratic, no? Parang kaiba yung iba yung kanyang pinaperform, iba yung ginagawa mo na command. So next we have unexplained data loss. Okay? Uh, makikita mo na lang wala na diyan yung sinisave mo na file. Wala yun na yung data mo na yung, yung picture na ininsert mo, yung picture na tinransfer mo. Umiba na yung kanyang content or hindi na siya ma-display, display ni ni system, ni computer. Next, frequent computer crashes. Tapos pagka-click mo, hindi mo na ma-open yung program. Okay, umiiba yung kanyang uh, type. Umiiba yung kanyang uh, icon. Okay, hindi na siya ma-open. Umiiba yung mukha. You know? hindi, hindi, hindi mo na siya ma-sasabing ma, uh, yan na yung, yung file. Some of that. So, I had personal experience no those things in my uh, pc uh, task okay before so how to protect your device against computer viruses ano yung mga pwede nating gawin kapag inundate na ni virus ang ating uh, computer so there are lots of uh, computer antivirus no to protect your uh, computer no from them but of course i can't specify any brand no or Uh, certain antivirus na ito talaga yung the best. Kasi talagang walang perfect na antivirus. Okay, pare-parehas na sila. So I don't know about you if you had already experience no, comparing the antivirus uh, programs. So the thing that we are to do to protect our PCs no, from uh, the invasion of the virus is to, to get the anti-spyware software. Okay? So para maiiwasan yung pag-spy uh, ng mga I mean, yung, yung sumusunod na mga applications when you uh, download no? from the internet. Next, we have always keep your antivirus protection and anti spyware software up to date. So, dapat up to date yung mga applications natin, yung mga antivirus natin. Kasi meron siya na after ilang months lang, 30 days, especially kapag free yan siya, okay, 30 days trial or Kapag in-install na ni technician, parang one year, expired na, two years, expired na. Okay? You have to, again, buy one or if not, you have to update it. No? Kapag may internet connection, you can just easily update the antivirus, your antivirus uh, program. So, update your operating system regularly. So, kapag uh, medyo matagal na ang ating operating system, meron din kapag yung online ka or may internet connection ka, There is this what we call automatic or pwede mo siyang i-update through the internet. Because otherwise, okay, dali, madali siya ma-invade ni, ni virus. Next, we have to increase your browser security settings. Okay, so you can uh, adjust the settings of your browser para ma-protect ka no, from the things that you are accessing online. Okay, because it's from there where you can easily acquire those viruses, no? Sa internet kasi siya usually nanggagaling. Okay, so sa mga email na sinisend, sa mga message na sinisend, so possibly we can acquire the, the virus from there. Okay? So avoid questionable websites. 
may websites ka na makita. If you're not so sure that it is safe to open, don't open, don't access the site. Only download software from sites you trust. Okay? So again, if you don't have any experience yet from that particular site, uh, tapos kailangan may download ka sa ganyang site, no? beware, no? Or baka mag, mag dalawang isip ka. Maybe may papasok o may virus yun dyan. Madadala mo pa sa iyong system. Okay? It's a computer system. Next, you have to carefully evaluate free software and file sharing applications before downloading it. Baka sabi mo free siya, no? Didn't you know that uh, if you download free software, usually meron yan siyang free na virus. Kaya careful po tayo. We don't know the intention of, uh, the, of those who are giving the free software. So next we have, uh, don't open messages from unknown senders. So kapag hindi mo siya kilala, you're not so sure with the intention, kahit nga kilala mo, pero hindi mo alam pang intention niya at baka di rin niya alam na may virus ng kanyang sinesend na message. No? So don't just open those messages. Next, we have to immediately delete messages to suspect to be spam. Or baka hindi rin lang yan message talaga na intended for you. Okay? Or hindi yan siya, may mag wala siya magandang intention, no? So if you feel like that way, please immediately delete the message. Okay? Otherwise, malagay sa, sa alanganin ng ating device. Okay, so next. Firewalls monitor internet traffic in and out of your computer and hide your PC from online scammers looking for easy targets. So, kailangan din natin magkakaroon tayo ng, magkaroon ng firewalls no, para uh, we cannot just uh, allow the, the applications to access our uh, system. Okay? Even yung sa Facebook, kahit gusto nang access ang iyong camera at the uh, at, uh, a mic or camera at the data or pictures, no? Uh, it has, kailangan na mag-ask permission, no? Anyway, that's for privacy, data privacy. Let's move on. So while free antivirus downloads are available, they just can't offer the computer virus help you need to keep up with a continuous onslaught of new strings. So it doesn't mean na kapag naka-acquire naka tayo ng free antivirus, it will really or fully protect our PCs, no, from the virus. Kasi hindi naman lahat ng antivirus kayang i, I mean, kaya niyang i-detect or kaya niyang labanan. Okay? So there are just some virus but not all. Kasi yung mga virus nag, nag-mutate din yan sila, no? Merong virus na hindi kayang i-taboy, kumbaga, okay? Or i, what's this? i-contain the antivirus, okay? Especially if your antivirus is not updated. Another previously undetected forms of polymorphic malware can often do the most uh, damage. So it's critical to have up to the minute guaranteed antivirus protection. So that's about no, the thing that we are to consider uh, in having the computer because hindi uh, natin alam May mga ganing mga problema na pwedeng mangyari sa ating device. So we should also know how to protect it from anti from virus, okay? So how does a computer virus find me? Bakit ba na access or na-acquire ko or paano ba ni virus no nahahanap ang aking system? Okay, paano niya na invade, okay, ng access ang aking system? Paano siya nakapunta dyan. Okay, you can pick up some computer viruses through, paano mo na na-acquire yun, okay? Through web activities like if you share music or files or photos with other users. Especially kapag nagsishare ka ng, kapag gumagamit ka ng USB ng iba, tapos isaksak mo sa PC mo, okay? So, pwede ang kanyang flash drive, merong virus, tinransfer din sa PC mo. Or pwede yung virus mo sa flash drive nyo, nagal mo, nagaling sa computer mo, matransfer mo din sa iba. Okay? Na hindi nila alam. Okay? Sabihin mo, wala kang, wala namang virus yung, yung flash drive ko. Okay? Or sabihin niya, walang virus yung flash drive ko. Tapos biglang pag, okay, saksak, na-invade ka agad or pumasok ka agad si virus na sa system mo. Next, visiting an infected website. So, kapag nag-visit ka nga, sabi kanina, if you 
suspect that website, don't visit or don't access, don't open it. Otherwise, maisasama mo yan siya no, sa iyong system. Ma dadala o or papasukan niya yung system mo kapag inaccess mo yung site. Next, opening spam email or an email attachment. If you're not so sure, okay, baka, baka yung kanyang intention is to just spread the virus, no? Or da idamay ka kung ano man siya no, sa kanyang mga problema, something like that. So, we don't just open any email attachment if we don't know what it is all about. Especially if the person who sent that to us are not or is not familiar or you don't know him or her, something like that. So another is, if you download free games, toolbars, media players, and other system utilities, okay, so dyan rin, dumadaan si virus, sumasama siya sa mga downloads na ginagawa natin. No? That's why si internet talaga yung pinaka-source. Okay? That's why we can easily acquire the virus. No? As other than pag-transfer ng uh, file, no? using the device, the storage device na ginagamit ng iba. Okay, ginamit ng iba, ginamit mo. That's why nagkahawaan kayo ng virus. Another is installing mainstream software applications without thoroughly reading license agreements. So, hindi mo alam na ma pwede palang ma-access no, ng virus or pwede pala ma makasama. So, something like kapag dinownload mo or nag nag-live streaming ka, I mean, nag-stream ka ng, ng music there or whatsoever, it is that is your activity online, no? Na pwede pa lang kung uh, sumama or napasukin ng uh, virus ng iyong system. Something like that. So that's about, no? How the the virus, no, access or invade your uh, computer system. Okay, so that's it. I hope you had an idea about computer viruses and how you are to protect your computer, how you are to avoid no, uh, the, the virus invasion of your uh, computer. Okay, so that would be all for today. See you in our next topic in the next video. God bless everyone.